Going on YouTube, welcome back to Living Life Fast. Today I'm really excited. As you can probably see, we've got a thumbnail or the title. I'm going to be driving an M135i with nearly 600 bhp. And something crazier than the power figure itself is the owner is 74 years old, guys. Insane. Really inspirational. Nothing wrong with it. I pray that when I'm 74 years old, that I'm driving a highly tuned, lightweight M135i. So the owner is Nick's dad. Nick's the owner of the F10 M5 I filmed last week with methanol injection. Like I say, this is a highly modified M135i. Uh, nobody in UK apparently would touch the car, so they had to send it to Belgium to get the, mod, the, the mods done on the car. So yeah, it's going to be a really exciting video. Any of you guys have got an M135i, trust me, get your notebooks out. I think this will, could possibly be UK's fastest M135i, so I won't keep you any longer. See you in a sec. Doing Nick. Hi Rick. Nice to meet you again. Nice to see you again. Good, good. So you're the owner of this, this um, beautiful machine. Beautiful. Absolutely. Crazy beast. <laughs> it, it is. It is it has become a bit of a beast over a period of time. From the outside it looks really it's a bit OEM, of a, yeah, it looks like a stock it's a bit of a sleeper because of mm. that. It, yeah. It uh, now develops about five hundred and sixty brake horsepower. Wow, five hundred and sixty we're we're working wow. on things at the moment because I'm determined to get it to the 600. Okay. Things like um, the spray for the intercooler, yeah. various things to keep that as cold as possible. It's all about cold air, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this that's business. Right. yeah, that's right. Keep your air cold and you're, mm -hmm. you're doing your best for your engine. The last mods were, I've improved the uh, turbo. We tried very hard, we searched around on the internet and to see if someone locally in the UK could do it. Mm. No, no one could do it. Okay. So we, in the end, found someone in Belgium, um, a Pure Turbos, I don't know if you've heard. Oh, Pure Turbos, yeah. Pure okay. Turbos, yeah, yeah. He, he's a, an agent, European agent, uh, Peter, and he's done marvels with the car, absolute wow. marvels. Torv injectors throughout, it's the larger stage two turbo. Uh, it's running uh, ethanol, 35% ethanol, uh, bigger intercooler, uh, heavy duty fuel pump, methanol injection. It's just gone on yeah. and on and on. The list is growing daily. Mm. He's now thinking about putting nitrous oxide spray oh over the intercooler <laughs> to, to cool the intercooler. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we could turn uh, the turbo up another couple of PSI. Also, we're not too sure whether the meth was on when it was dynoed at 560. So if the oh, meth right. was off, yeah. it's probably already running just under 600. But, but you know, it's, it's quite safe as well. Internals? No, it doesn't need it. Serious? Yeah, it's strong enough. And wow. the clutches are strong enough. The clutches are good for, mm. I think, 650, 700. Did a lot crazy, of research about that, because obviously yeah. I didn't want to blow the engine. Yeah, yeah. Peter from Pure Turbos is the absolute expert. No one in the UK wanted to get involved with this car. Yeah. Literally no one. Mm. Um, and then we've, he's, my dad's brought it back to, from Belgium to the UK. 
put it on a dyno mm. and everyone's just gone like, what? How have yeah. you got that power out of such a small car? So like the only giveaway on this car, Arthur, is the wheels, isn't it? What, and what you didn't the actual... even want to do that, did you? Well, <laughs> you wanted it a sleeper. I actually yeah. rather like the original wheels, but... Um... Running Toyo is the same as me now. Okay, same to, as you, yeah. basically eliminates wheel spin, pretty much. Okay. And he, he, he wanted the wider versions of them, so he's actually had to roll the arches on the back slightly. The, these okay. have uh, come out very slightly. Because they're so wide. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can, can see, yeah. Notice. Yeah. We've had work done yes. up in the middle of the exhaust and the, the cats and all the rest of it. So okay. it looks like a stock exhaust. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The, it gurgles the, the, more. Yeah, well, I heard from behind. Yeah. It sounds like your car. <laughs> sounds very similar because your car's not, quite as, loud as not quite as loud. Maybe. Yeah. What have you done with the brakes? Nothing. They're good enough. Yeah. We find that they don't get hot. They don't overheat, and they stop the car. What more do you want? Stock pads. <laughs> stock pads. Yeah, fully yeah, stock. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. BMW's done a good job on, on yeah, that. Yeah, they must have, yeah. I'm normally the first person to complain. Yeah. And, I'll, and then I'll say, Dad, you need to go off and take care of that. Yeah, yeah. But every time I've driven it, regardless of how fast that's, you know, that's good, man. they're all right. That, because BMWs are very, M cars are very well known for my their M, brakes not being great. My they, M5 like? brakes were awful. Mm. Um, uh, so I had to do quite a lot to those. But these, I'm really impressed. As I say, some people, they like playing golf. <laughs> oh, I like spending my time and yeah. my money on my beautiful... He goes back to right back to the three door Cosworth days. He had a brand new wow. three door Cosworth in Moonstone Blue, uh, which I went out in when I was a kid, mm. and um, I, I was hooked from that point. You know. So you're you're the reason why Nick's as bad as he is, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. I've given him a, a bad example. But <laughs> it, it, this, this this whole one up and ship on power. He's always wanted to do something to this to get in front of mine. Very Even the normal oh. looking under here. Jeez, yeah. Uh, taken, Had the cover taken off. Taken the yeah. cover off because again you've got to get the heat, heat out, yeah. Out. You don't want it covered in. Yeah. So you do simple things like that. Yeah. The only giveaway is obviously the uh the meth uh injector here that you can see. That, that's yeah. the sort of giveaway. And obviously the extra wires that are here, this is mm. all to do with the uh, the extra controller for the this injectors. This is the controller for my secondary injectors. Yeah. Okay. The other thing we wanted to do is make sure that the air filter was getting enough air, and we noticed that the vent on the bottom uh, of the bumper here is okay. blocked, a standard. Yeah, that's right. Crazy yeah. that BMW mm. did that mm. and not took the opportunity to open it up and let air to come in straight into the intake here. Okay. Um, but yeah, we, we, we got our mechanic to um, cut away the backing mm -hmm. of that vent yeah. and um, now air surges in straight into the intake. Noticeable? Noticeable, yeah. yeah. Just nice cold fresh air which is what it's always crying out for. So yeah, it's a good okay. mod. Just yeah, did it with like a Dremel machine, you know? Yeah. Right, so yeah guys, let's hit the road. Let's see what this beast's all about. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 oh jeez! Oh my god! <laughs> why am I laughing? I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> well, it gets the blood going, doesn't it? <laughs> crazy man that you're just driving the car how you're driving it I oh. imagine being like you know with my dad or my granddad or something <laughs> you're just like hammering the car well that's <laughs> what it's there for yeah I think it enjoys being hammered I've got 700 and something other than... Uh, New meters, yeah? Yes. Wow. Is that good? <laughs> Is that good? That's a lot. That's a lot of talk. <laughs> Does. And it just the gearbox handles it nicely. Oh, 
perfectly. Yeah. I, I just leave it to the gearbox. I'm not really good with the paddles. Nick, you only uses the paddles. Mm. I where where I'd like to use the paddle is when I start off. He he said to me if I knock it down a gear, mm. then shove the foot down. Yeah. The auto box will take over, but I haven't tried that yet. So apart from um, you know um, engine work, has there been any other tweaks on the car? Obviously the wheels. It's just pure. Well, the wheels, yeah, only the wheels. No, nothing, nothing else really. No, it's it's, it's pretty standard. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's crazy, yeah, because it doesn't. It feels like you know most cars. You start tuning them. You have to work on a lot of other things like upgrading drive shafts and upgrading a lot of parts. You know, like you say that this is just this is this is just engine mods. That, engine that's mods it. Yes. Yeah. Was it like before the tyres? So the same oh. tyres as Nick, yeah? yeah? No, I had poorer tyres, not such good tyres, yeah. and not some uh, and narrower. Yeah. And what happened was, first, second, and third, it just the Spun lights up. came on, so, yeah. and, uh, and you could hear it cough okay. uh, and then pick up again. So yeah, yeah. Um, there was a lot of electronic controlling. Yeah, couldn't hack it. Yeah, no, Alpha, I really appreciate that, man. So I'm going to um, get in with the mechanic now and uh, I'm gonna take it for a drive. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, no, really nice meeting you. And you. And, um, yeah, hopefully um, meet up I'm again one day. Really VMAX, possibly. Absolutely. Yeah, VMAX. Yeah, you'll come along with us, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. No worries. Okay. Looking forward to uh, seeing your results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no worries. So we've swapped over to the mechanic, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so you're the so-called Stig, yeah. We've been uh, let loose in a pure turbos M135i. Got many names. Yeah, Stig's <laughs> one of the better ones. <laughs> um, so you actually do a bit of racing as well. Yeah, I do a bit of racing. Yeah. yeah, got a racing license end of last year. Yeah. So. What yeah. are you actually racing then? I've got a M3 E36 track car, which okay. I, I co-own actually. Yeah. Um, so we both like to get out, do endurance racing, stuff like that. Wicked. And um, your company? It's Biddenden Motor Works yeah. uh, in Dartford. M, M Power Specialist, general BMWs and stuff like that. Okay, so you're like Nick's private mechanic. He's got you out for the day. Yeah. And he's got you driving for him as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, which is <laughs> one of the better parts of the job. <laughs> Wicked. Can't complain, can you? No, definitely not. But you've drove this car, so what's yep. your thoughts on the car? Like, um, surprising, very surprising. Mm. Definitely, I'm glad it's got the sort of flappy paddle gearbox. Yeah, manual. You saying you manual? You, you when you give this car the beans, you need both hands on the wheel at all times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I drove it more in stock form as well before. Yeah. Obviously, the meth was introduced to the car and yeah. the twelve injectors and. All the oh, these guys, they don't mess about, do they? No, <laughs> they definitely do not. <laughs> I think me having something like this, I'd probably just blow it up, man. Because I just, I don't know, man. Blow it up or lose your license, one or two. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Before 
Friday night, you look down doing seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For like three gears, <laughs> it's like you can't a change gears. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, a bit different, isn't it? It's more. Oh shit! Oh, bloody hell! What happened here? There it is. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Pull up. Can you put your hands on? Just put your hands on. Oh man! Look at that. <laughs> Gone. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh no! What? Geez, <laughs> this is like a dream car, like for. Well, even for me, it's like a dream car almost. Like, things like this, this was even like say your F80 owners and stuff. This would, I think, this would shock even Ferrari and Lambo owners. Yeah, honestly. Driving this every day, man. Wow, and it, it swallows the power, it just deals with it. Wow, I can't believe how it's just demolishing that power, like you know. Yeah, you put a remap on a car, the most cars can't handle a remap. Yeah, didn't know when we was going around and roundabouts, a bit hot. Yeah. Quite a bit of tire squeal. Yeah. If you press that, that's that's, that's not but off. Then, no, but that's not off. That's MDM, isn't it? Uh, if, if you fully hold it, see that's DSC off yes. now. Drive <laughs> 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 Yeah, we turn. better put that back on because <laughs> I don't want them to think we're taking it. <laughs> see, that's traction on. That's just MD, like you know, like the yeah. in between. Cruise driving carefully, yeah, but like I say, we've been driving it yeah, spiritedly. <laughs> and it's yeah, what are we doing? 26 for the gallon, yeah. yeah. Whereas with a big power skyline, sort of similar power, you'd be likely to get double figures, yeah. This will kill, this will kill, <laughs> definitely show up here. The M3 and M4 owners, yeah. I want this car, man, <laughs> honestly. I just want to rip around it. So, do you prefer this to the M5? Nicks. The thing is, I didn't like like Nick's. I did get a couple of little tears in it, but I feel right. like I've been able to chill in this a bit more. Like, you know, because I had Nick next to me, and yeah, yeah. And even if I had half of him beside me, I wouldn't have been like doing what I've even done in this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not that I'm trying to say I've taken the piss, but <laughs> when you got the owner right beside you, it's yeah. like you know they're a bit nervous because it's their car. Yeah. See. But, I mean, I wouldn't do. What well, I didn't think that was, I wasn't capable of, you know. Um, but yeah, now I feel like I'm really jailed with the car. Yeah, I just love this car. You know that. Honestly, it just rides a bomb. It's good on fuel. And you try and tell me you can spend that amount of money and you've got 560 brake horsepower. Yeah. My God, that's like it's a bit of a no-brainer in, in my opinion. Let you go, man. It's been a long day for you. <laughs> 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 the, uh, 
yeah guys I think we'll end the video there I'm really tired lost the GoPro I'm kind of depressed um, due to Paul sorry <laughs> if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and I'll most likely see you guys in the next couple of days thanks for watching bye